What's going on YouTube and welcome back Uncommon Sense Fam and Clan. It's your man Uncommon Sense here. On this channel we talk about all things beauty, fashion, sexy, mental health, wellness, reviews, fashion, style hauls, try-ons, creativity, how-tos. If you like that type of content, I want you guys to take a look around, check what I got going on in my mini videos, and once you've decided that this is a place that you should be, and it is, I want you to make sure you do all three. We want to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm very interactive and I'd love to have you be a part of the Uncommon Sense family clan. I'm going to bring to you guys my take on the one fragrance per month. My criteria for this was what fragrance can I wear for the whole month without going batshit crazy. Because guess what? It's my motherfucking birthday. What? Yes, it is finally my birthday. I'm recording this video on my actual birthday. Every single day right into this video and we're gonna start with the first one for January man in black essence it's an eau de parfum by Bokhari leather rum it's just so rich dark and sexy and it's best for the cold weather so I would be in heaven wearing this all month of January since it's more of a cool weather fragrance it will hang in there and cut through the Chicago cold. So I feel like this is one of the best fragrances that I will be able to wear in the cold weather. It's one of my favorite designer fragrances and I have many. But Bowery Man in Black Essence, look at that bottle. So that's January. For February, my birth month and Black History Month, we got Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Mall. This is one of the few fragrances I actually have a backup of. We're about halfway through this bottle, as you guys can see. And this is just a sweet vanilla lavender fragrance that I really enjoy. And it's perfect to me for cooler temperatures, even though all of the fragrances I have in my collection, I wear them when I want in whatever season. But for February, I would opt to wear Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Mall. Just for the simple fact, it's my favorite color, blue. <laughs> and it just smells amazing, you know what I mean? It kind of smells like a blue slushy once it's melted. It's kind of syrupy, but it smells so good and sexy on my skin. My skin really does well handling sweeter fragrances without them being too cologne. Mm. Can't get enough of it. So that would take us through February. For March, this was more of an uncommon scent. I don't see much about it. Uh, I don't see many people talking a lot about it in the Fragcom. It's better for me being uncommon since we like to highlight things that a lot of people aren't talking about. Our March entry is Kenneth Cole Black Bowl. And this is the Eau de Parfum concentration. It features the note of lotus, which is very green and herbal, but this does amazing on my skin. I love this fragrance. It was a gift for Christmas from uh, my mother a couple of years ago. And the fact that she found me a fragrance I had never heard of and it smelled good, I was in heaven. I like the bottle. It kind of looks like the commodity bottles a little bit, but this came first, as far as I know. If I'm wrong, put it in the comments. Let me know I'm wrong. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoy this fragrance. It's green, it's fresh, and it I feel like it's right in step with what March is. We're kind of coming in the Midwest, we're kind of coming out of that cold, that deep freeze, and you know, um, we started to get back our daylight savings time. The the green is starting to come back. The deep freeze is over. We can kind of come back to life. So since this is a green, I really feel like it would be in line with March, the beginning of spring. So for April, you can't go wrong with this fragrance. I talk about it on my channel often. It's another one of the fragrances I have several backup bottles of. I only do backup bottles of certain fragrances and this is one of them because I just kind of go through them really quickly and I really enjoy the fragrance. That fragrance is going to be
clean men. It's lemon, shower freshness. It's just one of those things where you cannot go wrong. You cannot overspray this one either. And I love smelling fresh and clean. You'll never, never go wrong with the freshies. And I know as a frag here, we kind of get over the freshies. You know, we want to do something different, but you'll never go wrong with a freshie. And this is one of those freshies. <laughs> Love this fragrance. This is one of the fragrances I have no problem wearing when I'm traveling, which I haven't done much of lately, but on an airplane or when I'm traveling and I'm going to be in close quarters with other individuals, this is a non-offensive scent that really hangs on and makes me smell clean and that's it for April now for May we're getting more into the fragrances that are green but they still have a pristine debonair feel to them so this is one of my favorite fragrances from one of my favorite designers whether it's clothing or fragrances and that's going to be from May, Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver Eau de Toilette. This is like my go-to scent for an interview or a business meeting. It's so fresh and clean. It kind of has that sparkly type of feel to it. Of course, Vetiver, Oak Moss. Oh, it's just such a good fragrance and this one is discontinued I have to actually mind my manners on the sprays with this one because I'm not trying to pay super inflated prices that are going for the discontinued the Eau de Toilette version I don't really care for the Eau de Parfum because it doesn't have that sparkling quality that the Eau de Toilette has so that's gonna do it for May taking us right on into summertime we're gonna hop right into June this is one of my favorite fragrances from this design and I actually got put onto this by another fragrance reviewer many, many moons ago before I even started reviewing fragrances and emerging as a creative on YouTube. My man, shout out to my man Emitsu has simply put since he put me onto this fragrance and it is none other than Carolina Herrera's Chic. Love this fragrance. It features a note of watermelon. And to me, it has a feel of Creed's Millicene Imperial without it being a direct duplication. I love this fragrance. This fragrance actually does very well on my skin. A lot of people say they don't get a lot of longevity from it, but I do. I wear this sparingly, but I love it when I have this fragrance on. And I really feel like it's perfect for the emerging time for summer. When I think about summertime, I think about the beach, I think about barbecues, I think about watermelon, I think about outdoor events. Chic. Nicely dressed. On the yacht. Boat shoe. Fly. <laughs> so that's going to do it for June. Now for July. This fragrance actually comes from another fragrance house that I have a lot of in my collection. Actually, I think I have four from this fragrance house. And to me, this fragrance house can do absolutely no wrong right alongside Versace. I'm going to roll with Moschino. And this is Toy 2. I've noticed on the box, the packaging, etc. It never says that it's for women. It just actually says... Toy 2. Eau de Parfum. That's all that it says. It doesn't say it's for women, but I believe this one is marketed toward women. However, it's a fresh, fruity fragrance, and most men, most who identify as masculine, may not be interested in this fragrance, let alone the bottles. But who fucking cares? This fragrance smells amazing. It's like fresh fruit, some aquatic to it. It just feels like what you should be wearing in July when it starts to get a little warm. Who doesn't want to smell fresh, sexy, sweet, edible? Boop. You're welcome. And that's going to do it for July. Now for August, we're kind of winding down and, you know, still warm outside, but we're starting to get into that place where, you know, fall is coming. And with that, you know, the leaves are going to start changing soon. It's warmer in the day, but cooler at night. You get those real swift temperature swings. And I really feel like this fragrance here handles that. This is somewhat of a dumb reach for me. And this is a signature scent for me, even though I have way too many fragrances to claim a signature scent. But I've had friends tell me when they smell this on me, it is just very me. That fragrance is... 
for August. DKNY's Be Delicious Men. Green Apple, Woods, and this bottle's adorable. <laughs> I love these bottles. Everybody doesn't, but Adam Isaac kind of sunk in. I really dig this fragrance, and it's just it just feels like me. What else can I say? And who don't want to be delicious, man? Again, you're welcome. We got some cooler temperatures coming. It's still, depending on where you are, for the Midwest, it's still kind of warm. But, you know, I've worn this most times in the latter part of the year, aka August, September, October, etc. I've not worn this a lot in the summertime, but I've worn it when it was still warm, even in those months. So this is a fragrance that I believe is, again, it's one of the staples to my collection. Um, I've not decided if I'm going to repurchase it once I empty it, but I'm finding myself managing the sprays on it a little bit because I don't want to have to because I know it's been reformulated since I've gotten it. But September, Dior Sauvage. This is the Eau de Toilette. And I'm a little bit more than halfway into it. <laughs> So I've been managing my sprays, like I said, but it's so ozonic. It's a little spicy, but this fragrance is indescribable. It's an Ambroxan bomb, but I love it. It's It has what Dior does, they do well. Like this is the holy grail of fragrances. Like this is of a newer men's fragrance. This is one of the best that I've smelled in a very long time. If you've not smelled Sauvage, get your nose on it. It's a staple for me. And again, you know I'm uncommon sense. And if I mention a mainstream fragrance, you better know it's on point. So that's for September. We're getting into the cooler temperatures. And this fragrance here is not heavily talked about. Um, partially because some say they have longevity issues from it. It doesn't project well. Again, I kind of get both of those. But this is a fragrance I believe as I've gotten further along in my fragrance journey, I believe this one just, I go anosmic to it over time, but also too, it's not a projection monster, but what it does well, it does well. And I like to do fragrances like this when it's a little cooler outside because certain musks can turn up like body odor. And since it's gonna be a little cooler, this one doesn't need to be projecting like crazy. I do not want musk projecting crazy off my skin. And that's gonna be Narciso Rodriguez Blue Noir for him. Vetiver, musk. This fragrance smells like several things that I've smelled before. Mostly close to uh, Tierra de Hermes by Hermes. Also, uh, I've heard people compare it to uh, Declaration by Cartier. I've heard people compare it to, well, I compared it to Blue Label by Givenchy. This fragrance does musk so well. It's so sexy and understated. This is what a grown man smells like. A grown ass man. So, that's going to do it for October. Rolling on into November, I picked a fragrance that's going to be a little sweeter, that's going to project and kind of start to cut through the cold because we get into that place where in the Midwest it's a little colder in November and you need something that's going to be able to contend with the weather, the hawk as we call it. So that's going to be at Zaro's Wanted. It's sweet. But it, what it does well, it does it very well. It projects like crazy. It lasts forever on my skin. A lot of people compare this to Invictus. I smell the similarities a little bit, but I like the way Azaro does that profile a little better than Paco Rabanne's Invictus. And this on my skin is just like pure magic. This lasts forever for me. And cooler temperatures is where I wear this one the most. I've worn it in the spring before, and I've, it's also made a few of my lists for spring. But I'm noticing for cooler temperatures, this one really does the trick. But like I've said before, I wear my fragrances anytime, like Janet Jackson says, anytime, any place. However, I would not have a problem smelling this for a whole month on my skin for the month of November. And that's going to roll us into November. Last but all that time, I had this, had this up there. 
<laughs> Still had not seen so up there. But I'm not going to do no whole bunch of editing. We're going to leave this just like this. November, anytime, any place, we're going to continue to smell at Zorro's Wanted, okay? Okay. So rolling out of November and going right into December. This fragrance is one of the ones a lot of gentlemen always talk about. And I've smelled different variations of this fragrance. However, this is the one that I actually spent money on. So that's none other than Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb Night Vision. This is the Eau de Toilette. It's spicy and sweet at the same time. It's mostly sweet on my skin with a little bit of spice. Chili pepper, Szechuan pepper in there was a little odd. Sage, I'm not the biggest fan of sage. Cloves, all of those are not notes I usually rock with. But, they're done very well here and I love this fragrance on my skin. It kind of smells similar to a lot of fragrances that are out, but this is the one that I like on my skin the best. Carolina Herrera's Bad Boy, and this one smells similar to me, but I prefer this one just for the simple fact it's a little bit more depth. Shout out to Cinesalt, Patrick K. He sent me a sample of Spice Bomb. I've not tested it yet, but I'm going to give that one a try because I think it's the Night Vision or the Parfum version. So I'm going to give that a try. I did sniff it before, but I've not worn it, and I still prefer this one. And usually, other parfums last on my skin much longer and they perform better. However, some EDTs just do the trick. And that's gonna do it for our, that's gonna do it for our one per month, going through the whole year, designer edition, a fragrance that I would wear for a whole 31 to 30, 30 to 31 days without going crazy and being tired of the fragrance. Luckily, this is not something that I have to do because I love variety and variety is the spice of life, right? Right. Thank you guys for stopping by and spending a little bit of my birthday with me watching this content. I really appreciate you guys and I love you from the bottom of my heart, the top, the sides, all the way around. And in, we're going to lift it up and then love you underneath. Feel free to use the cash app. If you want to bless your boy with a token of appreciation and a token of love, we are gonna drop the cash app. It is available. I accept gifts of all kind. I appreciate the type that jingles, but we really appreciate the type that folds. If you've enjoyed this content and you seek to bless me financially or with some words of encouragement or positive affirmation, I accept all of those gifts of all kinds because that is my love language. That's my love language, but of course, <laughs> I appreciate you guys so, so very much. And again, it's been your man on Common Sense. I love you. Love you, love you, love you, love you. And I'm out. Till next time. All right.